This is, or maybe not, let's not take this one. Take this one. This is the Nokia NFA14 X25 G2, but not the actual like retail one. That one is coming out at some point. No, this is the NFA14 X25 R G2 PWM SX2 PP. Long name, and I stole it of the D15 G2s. And as for today, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of what we may or may not get once Nokia decides to release the actual NFA14 X25. But before we do anything, this here today, this is janky at best. The fans we tested are the R version, so the round ones featuring these tiny holes which are used to keep the fan clips in place. To test them on our case simulator, it was actually pretty easy. The impeller size is like any other 140mm fan, nothing that a bunch of zip types couldn't fix. To test them on radiators, whew, this is janky at best. So for the rest of this video, please take all of these results as what they are. I glued a round fan to a radiator. It's a sneak peek of what we can expect once the real square ones come out. And I really hope that the square ones are like way more robust than, than these because I can do this. I, sh I shouldn't be doing this. Please, Nokia, stop me from doing this. I don't want to do this. Anyway, to be precise, we benchmarked solely the PPB version, the 25 RPM faster spinning version. So what we got ourselves here is a 1500 RPM, or 1525 RPM to be exact, quick spinning version pushing up to 91.58 CFM at up to 2.56 mm of H2O. Or, or kinda, because all of those sets are based on the 1500 RPM speed and none of my fans are pushing exactly 1500 RPM, so all of these values are kinda not true, I guess. Anyway, this is not a full product review, so let's not make it one and just go straight to the numbers. Pushing at 1525 RPM through our Jankified case simulator allowed the CPU to stay at 43.4 .4 degrees C above ambient, which is good. It is next to the Corsair RX 140s, Be Quiet Lightwings 140 High Speed, Arctic Speed 12 ARGB, and compared to the last generation A14, we also got slide the step up, which is also what the specs sheet suggested, like across the board, a slight step up. But what's more impressive to me is actually the speed, because these are spinning at, let's say, only 59 RPM, and around this spot on the chart, everything is spinning a lot faster than 15 RPM. But these here are all about noise. We made them spin slow and slower and we measured both the performance and the noise along the way to get this graph. The first thing that caught my eye is the huge difference between the max noise of the original A14 and the new one. This seemed off to me as Noxia says that the new ones can be a tick louder at the, the high speed, but my DB meter said no. I'm not saying Noxia is wrong here. It can also be that the original A14 that I used has some sort of defect because of, you know, time. It has already had its fair share of like fear and terror. And generally the two fans have a different type of sound, which you will also hear. And the big issue when measuring with a DB meter is that usually they are weighted, like DBA, it's A weighting and with that weighting system you will have a different emphasis on a given part of the frequency spectrum. So what can happen and it, it did happen already a few times is that if the type of noise shifts or if let's say it gets higher pitch or lower pitch all of a sudden the dB meter will show you two three four dB more even if you sitting in front of them can say yeah it's it's exactly the same like the, let's say noise level it's just higher pitched or lower pitch. Anyway, the difference between the first and second gen A14 is pretty big if measured with my dB meter. Another interesting comparison is the A12X25, because these two are pretty much alike. They start off at pretty much the same spot and they go all the way down in the group, up until the moment where the A12 just stops and the A14X25 continues on for a little bit. 
The P14 ARGB is also part of that group, just that that one gets a lot louder towards the high end without gaining anything in performance. Or not a lot. But it's also not like this is the best ratio we have seen so far. The 30mm thick RS140 Max, for example, keeps a slightly better ratio, except for the very end where it becomes slightly louder. For cases, this basically seems like an A12X25 that pushes a little bit more air, because it is a little bit bigger. But it is a high-end fan, and high-end fans are supposed to have great noise-to-performance curves, and so far it seems like the A14X25 is going to be a good one. And now onto my jankified A14X25 or on top of a radiator. Please take these numbers with a big-ass grain of salt. I did horrible things to that poor fan. Pushing at max, we measured the water temperature of the loop above ambient, and at 10.9 degrees C, the new A14 outperformed the old one by the smallest amount that I can measure. And to be honest, I am so not sure if this is right. Sure, I give it my best shot, but I'm certain that Noctua aimed for more in a generational improvement than the absolute minimum that I can measure. So let's interpret all of these numbers here as the minimum. Once the real NF A14X25 comes out, this is what I suppose, this is the minimum improvement that we are going to see. Adding noise to this changes a lot more than on cases. Like the P14A RGB now becomes flat out better, but at least we can still see the improvements from an A14 to the new one. And here I also want to add something. Older Nokia fans, or basically everything except the NF A12X25, had a a very distinct whistle noise when you mount them onto anything which is a bit too uh, dense, let's say. For example, you also found that on the uh, NHL 12S and 12S X77 with the A14X15 fan. If it was spinning too fast, you got like a sound in the back. And the same happens for basically every Nokia fan on top of a radiator except for the A12X25. The A Oh, so many numbers today. The A14X25 also doesn't produce that sound anymore compared to the original A14. Anyway, as for radiators, I just really hope that my creation is just way too janky and that the real product will end up more like here rather than here. And this was my sneak peek of what we can expect with the new A14X25 once it really comes out and I don't have to do all of this. Again, please take all the results of today as an experiment at best. And for the future, I will of course remove all of the values from the charts and I will just keep them around to compare them to the real deal once the real deal actually comes out. And who knows, maybe my janky creations are actually what will happen. We, we will... I hope not. But this was it for today and my stolen D15 G2 version of the A12X25. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get an apology gift for my poor A14. Horrible things have been done to it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the new NHD15 G2 from Noctia. It is good, but it's expensive. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.